caught a vibe. Baby, are you coming for the ride? I just want to look into your eyes. I just want to stay for the night. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amara and I am a yoga teacher and soul coach based in Dubai and welcome to today's vlog. Um, I am actually feeling really good about this week's vlog. This week I am spending a lot of time recollecting myself, connecting back to myself, doing all of the things that I know make me feel like me. If you watched my vlog last week, you will have seen that I had a bit of a, I guess a wobble, where I was really like feeling really lost and confused and it really hit me all of a sudden. And to be honest, I'm still not 100% sure what was is going on with it. I still have that lingering feeling, but what I do know is that I haven't been looking after myself and that is usually a really good place to start. So this week I am feeling all of the collecting myself together, getting back to my routines and also having a little bit of discipline in these routines because I think I need to draw a little bit more on my real like masculine energy and get into just really committing to my routines because I have a routine but I'm very flip, not very flippy floppy with it. It's very recent that I've been a little bit more lenient with it but usually I'm very disciplined so channel that in a tapas yoga philosophy straight in there um, but tapas is that inner self-discipline that determination that inner fire but also that like divine masculine energy of I am making a promise to myself that I am going to write my gratitude journal every day or whatever it may be and I deserve to keep promises to myself right I keep promises to other people and I should be keeping promises to myself. I am the most important person. Like my word to myself is the most important thing. So yeah, that is very much the vibe this week. I actually, um, I pulled, I went back to my routine this morning as you will have seen in the little montage bit and I pulled cards for the first time in a little while and I sat and I meditated and it was so funny. The amount of guidance that came through just from pulling my cards and of course the cards that I pulled were exactly what I needed to hear one of them was a it basically said the decisions in your hands and like a new beginning and a fresh start but also like everything you're working towards is coming and the decision gets to be yours which I didn't know I needed to hear so much but it was this feeling of like I felt like I was really trying to like surrender to the universe and trust that like everything will be, which I think is important. It's really important to have that element of surrender, but I was finding it really, really hard. I was finding it quite unsettling and it was leading to me feeling quite out of control, which part of me thinks, well, that's because you're attached to things. So maybe we need to work on the attachment thing, but I don't know, there was just something that really wasn't sitting right with it. And then when I pulled this card and it just said, the decision's yours, I it, it just was so much more com comforting. Like it almost gave me my agency back. Whereas when I felt like I was just handing it over to the universe, which of course I still am, I'm trusting, but I just felt like I was really trying to like, let go, let go, let go. And what it was doing is it was actually ending up making me feel powerless so I think there's a balance right there's and this is like a real balance of the masculine and feminine energies once again like feminine I surrender I allow everything just to be which is very me normally to be honest but also this masculine of like if you want something to happen we need to put ground and action into place and like you do have the agency to make decisions and the universe will support you on those and so yeah, really finding my own little balance of yin and yang, masculine and feminine vibes as well is kind of the feels for this week. We have got some really fun stuff as well coming up this week. I am doing a sound healing for Adidas on Saturday, which, oh my gosh, so exciting. Pinch me. Um, I just literally can't believe that's happening. Um, Adidas even wanting sound healing. I'm so excited. Um, but yes, that'll be really exciting. It's in their flagship store at the Dubai Mall. And 
then I, what else have I got going on this week? I have got, I think that's, I've got my normal, like going back to classes. I have just actually made a real big plan for the month of November, because November is a really busy month for me. Um, we have the Dubai Fitness Challenge here in Dubai, so in terms of like health and wellness, things are on like rocket ship craziness, so, so busy. So I have a much heavier timetable as a result. Um, I have quite a few corporate events. I'm also teaching yoga for Emirates this month. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Like, I moved out here a year ago and if you told me I'd be doing this, I would be pinching myself. But yes, that's very exciting and I think, I'm sure I'll vlog it and I'll bring you along with me. But yeah, it just feels like a really busy month and I want to be able to enjoy it. I don't want to be stuck in the vibe I've been in for the past few days and not able to enjoy life right now because there's so many exciting things that I've worked towards. So the vibe is fresh, reset, sort myself out, and also that balancing of masculine and feminine energies. Um, and for me at the moment, it's definitely coming into a little bit more of my divine masculine. So yes, that is the vibe and let's get going. Okay, so I've just had a record time turnaround and I'm about to head off to do a food shop because that always makes me feel really grounded and I would be absolutely lying if I said I hadn't been having takeout the last few nights. So I've changed into something very comfy but I do have a, I'm covering a sound healing class this evening so I need to be dressed somewhat presentable. So in very comfy, chilled, very um, Dubai-esque clothes but yes I am gonna head and do a food shop I'm also gonna have some lunch and just settle myself um yeah spent the day yesterday making a plan for November which in all honesty I find quite overwhelming when there's lots of things on I find getting organized really helpful but in the moment it can feel really overwhelming because I'm not, I'm not a disorganized person, but I'm also not the person that has everything like color coded. And when a lot is on, I find it very easy to get disorganized. I'm very good when it's just like all in my control. But anyway, um, I took some time to get organized yesterday. I've actually asked for an awful lot of cover for classes this month. Um, I'll explain why probably a bit later. But yeah, I've asked for an awful lot of cover and I just want to begin to gently chug along with concepting content for this month because I'm really focusing on all of my online things that I'm sharing, but also thinking a little bit about, I have a few online jobs this month as well that I need to take pictures and videos for. So I want to just conceptualize that. I'm going to treat myself to some lunch and then I'm going to do a food shop because I know that that always makes me feel first of all really grounded, but also really nourished. And in all honesty, I've been putting it off um, because I haven't really felt like myself. So now is the time to get going. Let's, yeah, let's reset to get ready for the week and let's go. And on your next exhale, meeting me back in your downward facing dog. me out with so much joy. I'm super excited about this week's class. We're diving into this theme of Santosha, which is one of the niyamas in yoga philosophy. And we are really diving into savoring and finding contentment, but also real like heart-centered energy, which I, it's so me, I love it. Um, so yeah, I filmed for Soul Shower this morning. I taught my classes this morning as well. And then I have come back and I actually went to the Starbucks just below where I live and I, um, where's my brain gone? I went to the Starbucks below where I live and I just, I just went to the Starbucks below where I live and I was just editing outside. The weather has 
begun to drop here. I'm actually in a jumper today. The weather has begun to, ooh, what am I doing? The weather has begun to drop here and it is so lovely. We're going into Dubai winter and it's just the most beautiful weather, which is really, really nice. And then after that, I actually had a very, very quick remote Reiki session with um, my business coach who is also an energy healer and she combines them so beautifully into energy line businesses. Anyway, other topic. But I did just have a really quick energy healing Reiki session and oh my goodness, if you watched last week's vlog, you will know I was feeling a little bit weird in terms of energy. I sort of, something had really set me off and it, I was just feeling so overwhelmed. But I now feel so much better I think that was just so what was needed. Um, I just need some energy clearing off of me, I think. Um, the more and more I do this work as a yoga teacher and the more that I do in terms of like sound healing and things like that, I just find that I am obviously becoming more and more and more sensitive to energy. And I've always been quite sensitive to energy as it was. I'm super sensitive. I'm a bit of an empath. I really feel everything. But I think with how busy I was last week, it was a lot of things. It was, I was exposed to a lot of people last week. I was teaching so much um, in quite an intimate way as well, because it was sound healing, but also yoga. And then not only that, I was exposed to a lot of people, but then I wasn't prioritizing my own routines because things were so busy. So I wasn't prioritizing my own practice. I wasn't coming to my self-care rituals. Um, so in that sense, my energy was super open because I wasn't setting my own energy. Rookie error. This is just so what your energetic practices as just a person are so important, but especially for someone who holds space. So any teachers, whether it be school teachers, anything else, a personal trainer, anything where you are holding space, yoga teachers, obviously, it is so important that you're dealing with your energy first. Um, wow. But I feel as if I just picked up loads and loads and loads of energy last week and I was just feeling really, really heavy and that Reiki session has just managed to clear it. So if you haven't tried Reiki and you feel a little bit like that, find someone, try Reiki. Um, to be fair, I have actually started offering one-to-one, -one, um, like one-off soul coaching sessions, which has Reiki and card reading. So if you're feeling a bit lost and you're feeling like you need some direction, maybe that's something for you. Um, all the stuff's on my website i'll pop it below but anyway um yeah i feel so much better now i feel so much lighter now and she actually said something to me which made complete sense she said that when we're feeling like this that basically thoughts in the body work in two different ways so you can start top down which is the thoughts then influence the way the body feels or you can do bottom up and the body then feels the, impacts the way the thoughts feel and she said that 80% of the time, what we are feeling into and what we are most receptive to is body. So bottom up, body, thoughts, energy. Um, and that just made complete sense because what I needed to do is I was so up here within my mind and everything that I needed to ground back in my body. So I was journaling and doing these things, which... I was actually just staying up here in my mind. I needed to ground back into the body and find my yoga practice again and just move through my daily routines again to help me feel more myself. And it just got me thinking about why the practice of yoga and particularly asana is so effective because it grounds you back into your body. I just had a complete light bulb moment with it. So love that. I have also just actually worked on the red garnet ring I used to wear when I was a school teacher because I felt like I needed all the energy protection then because things were overwhelming so she's back out doing doing the good work so yes the plan for this evening is to the day off starts now as always on a Wednesday day off starts in the evening so I get a nice full 24 hours into Thursday so I think I'm gonna have a lovely my usual weekly ritual of an Epsom salt bath if you're not having Epsom salt baths and you are someone who is super active in your job or you're someone who is moving your body an awful lot, you need Epsom salt baths. They're amazing. They help to like refuel the magnesium within your body, which is fantastic for recovery. 
10 out of 10 would recommend. Didn't realize I was magnesium deficient until I started having magnesium baths. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. I'm gonna fake tan, have a lovely dinner, and just really enjoy being settled back into feeling myself. Um, and I think that's important as well, is when you've been through something and you're feeling a little bit more yourself, you don't necessarily need to rush back into like, right, now there's time to just get going. Sit with it. Allow yourself to really savor the moments. Um, and again, that's also me coming back with this idea of balancing masculine and feminine. Like, the masculine is where the routines are coming in and where I'm finding that I need to be really grounded and I need to be in the body but my feminine is also really looking after myself and really making sure that I am taking time to slow down so I can ground into the body. Anyway, this has become a very long ramble. Let's get into the evening. Hello again, guys. I'm actually just sat outside because the weather is so lovely. I've got a little cat next to me. <laughs> um, but yes, I've sat outside because I'm just about to pop onto my Instagram stories and chat to um just get some feedback on some stuff for shell shadow which is my online yoga membership because um i felt a really lovely class that today we're really diving into this theme of sentosha and savoring and it's a really like deep heart opening flow so you will have seen that actually i popped it in but i am just wanting to make sure that this membership is a real space where it's a community and it's feedback between me and the members and I just want to ask a few questions on what people like and don't like and see how people are feeling about things. So um, if you have any preferences and just want to let me know, I'm looking for a like general what people like and don't like. When you are practicing online, do you like a class that has the music in it already? Um, so like you don't have to worry about fussing and putting the music on. The music is chosen by the teacher, so it's very similar. I feel like that mimics the way you would be in an in-person class. Do you like that? Do you not like it? Let me know down below. I'm also really toying with the idea of um, peak poses. Now, I don't like planning classes around peak poses. The whole thing about this, if that's something that you're interested in, I can always chat about that in like tips for sequencing any yoga teachers are here and they'd be interested let me know but I don't actually like this whole concept of peak poses because I think it's very asana based however on my membership I know I have a lot of practitioners who like to dive a little bit deeper into their asana practice and are working on deepening some of their asana which are poses so I am wondering if um, the members might enjoy having some classes which are focused around a suggested peak pose and that is listed in the description or if they're just happy with it being very energy focused because I feel like I like a 50-50. I like a really energy focused practice but I also really love learning from teachers that help me do some deep in my asana practice. So she's a 50-50 girl. So I'm wondering if you guys are too or if you are watching this if you are as well. Let me know please. I would really really love your feedback. That would be so helpful. Um, even if you're not on the membership. I just love a general bit of feedback of what people like and don't like. If you're interested in checking out my membership, I'll always link it down below. It's Soul Shala and I just love it. I'm so obsessed and I'm really focusing on growing Soul Shala as well and really focusing on my little online space. With that being said, I'm also loving putting flows on YouTube as well. So if you guys have any requests for flows, Obviously Soul Shadow is my main priority, but I can definitely get some shorter like 20 minute flows up here for you guys because it just brings me so much joy. So yeah, let me know and we shall see what people say on my Instagram stories as well.
Hello guys, it is now Thursday and as you can probably tell, I have just been to the hairdresser and had my hair done which um, I feel like was very much needed. It was well overdue um, but I've actually had a fringe cut in and I feel like I look very, this isn't how I normally style my hair so it feels very different but it feels really really nice and I said this week's vlog is me getting back to feeling myself and my mane is a big part of me feeling me. So very pleased with this. I actually tried, tried a new hairdresser. I'm really particular about hairdressers, but if you watched my vlog, I think two vlogs ago, I spoke about how I am being a little bit more intentional with the way in which I spend my money. And the hairdresser I went to before, love him, but it was at a really premium salon and it was in like the Ritz and it was very, very expensive. It was fantastic and it was worth every penny, but I know here in Dubai there are so many fantastic hairstylists. So I asked a friend for a recommendation and I was able to find somewhere that was equally as beautiful, um, but just a little bit more um, economically viable is the nice way to put it, which I am very, very pleased about. So I will be back there again, which is really, really lovely. Um, oh, it just feels so good. It feels so good to have fresh hair. Now, I have a few little bits I need to get done today. Ideally, I want to go and get my nails done as well. This is a real glow up day. Um, but also, I want to pop around the mall. Now, I said I was spending a little bit more intentionally, but on Saturday, I have my class with Adidas, and that is in Dubai Mall, which is very um, close to where I live. So, I am planning to have a little bimble around the mall, find where the Adidas store is so that I know where I'm going come um, Saturday morning, because it's quite early on Saturday morning. It's like at eight o'clock I need to be there. So that way I know where I'm going and it's not gonna be a stress. So I'll be having the singing bowls with me on Saturday. So the last thing I want is to be trying to figure out where I need to go. So the plan is to pop around the mall go and have a little look maybe even a window shop try my best not to I, w I do actually really want to pop into Lululemon and just see what they have um not the sort of thing you should be saying when you're trying your best to save but I'm in the mood for it so we will not deprive <laughs> um so yes that is the plan at the moment it is looking like my evening class we haven't got any bookings which is unheard of usually this class is fully booked so this is a nice thing and so at the moment it's looking like I may even have the evening off which would be lovely because I usually have two evenings off a week but this week I was going to have less because I covered a class earlier this week one evening so this would be very nice it'd be like the universe repaying me in that sense so yeah let's hope think, cross your fingers for me even if it's in the future I believe that energy knows no time or space right so yes let's get on with the day. Hello guys, happy Friday. As you might have just seen in the clips, I taught my morning classes this morning and I actually just went for coffee with my friend Ailish, who was just lovely and gorgeous, so that was actually really nice. Very much needed in this week of coming home to myself, coming back to myself, also a bit of a glow up week, which is why I'm coming on here actually to tell you about my exciting delivery, because I have just ordered and received um, this set of hot curlers, which this is so unrelated to anything yoga, but this is a week in the life and this is what I'm very excited about this week. Um, so I am actually, I think this afternoon, it's a Friday afternoon, I teach again um, this evening. So on a Friday afternoon, I actually try and take it quite easy because otherwise I find that I spend my entire Friday working from like 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. And that is not good for anyone's mental health. So what I find is I try and spend a few hours just winding down in the afternoon before my evening classes, so I feel well rested. Now I have my Adidas sound bath in the morning, so I'm thinking maybe I have a little play with these this afternoon with a cup of tea 
and see what sort of curls they give me. I've, I'm loving my fringe being cut. I think I showed you yesterday that I had my fringe cut and I am absolutely loving it. So I feel like this is gonna give just the perfect look. It's quite a throwback um, because you, as many of you probably don't know, I used to be a pageant girl when I was younger. What cat is here? When I was younger, I actually used to be a pageant girl and hot colors are all the rage on the pageant scene. Um, but yeah, not anymore. But that is the plan for the afternoon. Hello. Okay. He doesn't look happy, but I promise he is. All the tails going. He wants to go out on the balcony. You right. Time to go. Okay. <laughs> Here's an awful lot to say. I bought my hair with the colours. I loved them. I think I made the rookie error of not heating them up and up first. So it looks nice. A lot of the curls have sort of fallen out. So there's something to play with. But the first like 10 minutes <laughs> were great. So I feel like if I let them heat up properly next time, then the curls will stay a little bit longer. I did leave them in for ages. So it must have been a heat thing because I was being impatient. So still looks lovely. It looks a bit like a blowout here. And obviously I've got the Dubai humidity to work with as well, which, which we must not forget when it comes to hair. But yes, let's go teach. And then I need to bring my singing bowls home because we've got Adidas first thing in the morning. It's a bit of a homeward stretch, right? Pushing forwards to get classes taught this evening, get to bed at a fairly good time. My classes don't finish till 9 p.m. tonight, which Honestly, potentially the worst bit about being a yoga teacher is late night classes. I hate them. One day, I will not have to teach them anymore. But at the moment, we're enjoying them for what they are. But yes, I will come straight home, jump into bed, and up first thing tomorrow morning, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for Adidas. Good morning, guys. I am, it's currently Saturday. I must say, I redid my hot rollers this morning, and I think I aced them. Um, I am on my way to to buy more for the Adidas sound healing this morning. So I am not in a rush, but I'm getting a shimmy on because I want to be early because that's just me. I'm not sure my hair will stay like this because the walk is outside. Um, but yes, I will take you along with me. I'm in my very cozy outfit still from, well, I wore this to teach last night, but I was clean last night. So they're meant to be giving me an outfit, so I didn't know what to wear. So I've just worn this because it wasn't allowed to be branded with anything. So there's no branding on it. This was the only bag I could find this morning, so we're going very wintry. But yes, let's grab the singing bowls and drapes over to Dubai Mall. Caught a vibe. Baby, are you coming for the ride? I just want to look into your eyes. I just want to stay for the night. Take a drive. Maybe we can hit the 405. Hypnotized by the lights. Man, this must be the light. I am now home. I have honestly just collapsed on the sofa because I am exhausted. Um, but that was honestly incredible. Such a career highlight to be. It was the opening of the new Adidas store in Dubai Mall, which is actually the largest mall in the world which I'm gonna give myself that because that is huge. 
Um, and yeah, they were opening the new store and they wanted a sound healing. So it was honestly lovely. The group was lovely. The store was stunning. My hair all fell out <laughs> because I didn't expect, I don't, never in my life did I think I would be carrying seven crystal bowls through the largest mall in the world for any reason. I just never thought that there would come a day in my life where I'd be walking through to buy more with my singing bowls. But there I was and honestly, my arms are so sore. Um, and I was really exhausted by the time I got back. I had to say, I got, honestly, by the time I got there, I was all sweaty, my hair had all fallen out, but it was fine because when I got there, they actually um, gave me 1,500 dirham, which has got to be like close to like 300 pounds around that mark to literally get whatever I wanted in store. I could not believe it. So I got changed into this outfit I'm now wearing, um, but I could not believe it. Like I had been told that they would have an outfit for me to wear, but I didn't think they were just gonna be like, here, choose whatever you like. And I was like, do I spend it all? They're like, yeah, spend all of it. Um, so that was really, really lovely. And I got to pick myself out a few things. Um, but yeah, just such a pinch me moment, such a lovely morning, such a lovely group. Um, it was just really, really, really nice. I really, really enjoyed it. So here's two more of those coming because that was just such a highlight and so much fun. And it really got to be such a lovely morning, I think, for everyone in such a really beautiful way. I love the idea of like opening a new store and just like blessing the space with sound healing. I love that. It's just the cutest, most lovely idea. So wow that was quite the morning i have as i said come home i needed i've probably been home for about 20 minutes i needed to just like sit here and recover because lugging the bowls back plus my big bag of stuff that they had let me take from the store honestly so heavy my arms felt like they were going to come out the sockets but it's fine i'm alive that's my arm workout done for the day so the plan today is a full worky Saturday, which is fine. Um, but what I'm doing now is I'm home. I'm trying to have a chill for the rest of the morning because I'm in studio at one o'clock for the afternoon. So I've ordered myself an acai bowl. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. I've lit a candle and I'm just going to take a minute to relax, but also feel really grateful. And just, yeah, just take a moment to soak up all the vibes of such an incredible morning. Um, I just have no words. There's no words. I'm just so, so grateful. And it just goes to prove that I am in the right place at the right time, which is something that has been worrying me recently. But yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> after I did Adidas yesterday. Um, it was actually ended up being a really busy day. I sort of got home and chatted to you guys and then I needed to go and teach my YTT group for the weekend. So I kind of rushed to the studio. By the time I got home, I was so exhausted. I don't think I checked in, but it is now Sunday and I am very much in the mood for a Sunday reset. Um, I did teach this morning, I did practice this morning, which is really, really lovely, but I am now very much in the mood to just get everything feeling really fresh for this next week ahead. Um, so with that being said, I have got a nail appointment at 3.30, um, but I'm also feeling quite called to have a bit of a wardrobe clear out. Now, this is not something that I usually feel particularly called to do. I'm not someone who takes any pleasure in organizing. I enjoy things when they are organized, but I'm not the sort of person that takes a lot of pressure in the act of organizing. So this isn't the urge I get very often, which is why I'm thinking if I have the urge to do it now, it's probably a good time to do it. It's very much Sunday reset vibes as well. Um, but I just, I did, actually did this a few months ago where active wear is obviously what I wear the most as it is my job. and. I am teaching or at the studio almost every single day. So I'm always in active wear, 
But what I've noticed is especially like in the mornings when I'm prioritizing my morning routine, even this week, like when I've been going to go and choose outfits, I've been like, oh, where's that outfit? I wanna wear that. And not really being able to find the things that I wear all the time just because it's not organized. So I really prefer to like create a section of my wardrobe with my most worn outfits and the ones that I feel reflect my energy the most. So I always think like if someone was to meet me for the first time, what outfit would I be wearing? And those are all of those outfits. All of those outfits get to go in that section. And then the other outfits I will put in another shelf in the wardrobe. Or if I'm, I'm in the bit of a mood to clear out and get rid of a few things at the moment. So if that's the case, I think I will, um, first of all, I will get rid of some, so I'll donate them or I will give them to someone. But also I, what I found really, really helpful is I will put them in like a suitcase or in a, um, another area and just see if I reach for them for the next month. And if I go and keep reaching for them and keep wanting to wear them, then I'm like, okay, well, that might need to come back into the main wardrobe. Or if I don't reach for them for the whole month, it's like, okay, I can get rid of them now. So especially as I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional with my spending at the moment. I don't want to get rid of things and then a month later wish I hadn't. So what I will do is I will have a little sort through and at least get the main things that I know I love to wear in one section and then we can sort of move from there. I'm 50-50 on how much I want to do this. I have a lot of active wear and this always feels like a bit of an overwhelming task. I'm not gonna lie i do it every like couple of months but as we're going into a new season as well we're in a new season i feel like i'm wearing slightly different colors so it's nice to change it seasonally too and put the most reach colors towards the top like i'm wearing a lot of brown at the moment which in the summer i didn't really wear so let's go sort the wardrobe <laughs> Monday and this is where this vlog is going to end. I actually found I was able to really sink into a new morning routine which brought me so much joy. I managed to make it up by my alarm. I was I did my morning meditation, I did 10 minutes of Pilates and then moved straight into my yoga practice and I've just found that this morning that clicked. That felt really really like a really good flow because when I first get out of bed I find it takes me a lot of time to get out of my yin. I'm very like sleepy, um, as with everyone, but it takes me, I've been finding recently, it's been taking me a lot longer to, I guess, like wake up. I'm very happy hanging out in my yin for the first few hours of the day, which is a great thing, but I just met, found that my yoga practice was then feeling very gentle and very yin, which is also fine, but not super balanced because as i said we're finding a balance between this masculine and feminine vibe this week and so what i did is i started with my meditation because that feels really natural i'm in that yin state anyway and then i did a 10 minutes pilates workout which honestly was so nice because it just shifted me into a slightly more masculine yang state of like okay we're doing we're getting up we're moving and then my yoga practice flowed so well after that which was just really really nice i pulled my cards i journaled i actually finished the first page of my journal and that the first page the last page of my journal and that is the journal that has documented my entire journey from like doing my yoga teacher training and then leaving my job and moving to Dubai and it just feels like a real end of a chapter. You can literally feel the energy in the pages of that book. I'm so connected, I was a little bit emotional, um, but I will need to buy myself a new journal now because a new chapter, a new era, which is crazy. But yes, I am feeling really, really, really good coming into a new week. And I think something to just be said before I leave you guys is that if you are feeling anything like I was around like weird energy sort of lingering not feeling yourself that sometimes you need to take time when you feel a little bit better 
you need to just take time to relax right and settle i think sometimes we're like oh i need to shift out of this energy and then just do right and do all of the things i know that are going to raise my vibrations but sometimes you need to take some time to like cleanse and like almost purge is a horrible word but like cleanse and like release everything and that's a process it doesn't just happen all at once and i feel like that's really what this past week was for me it was a real sense of like cleansing and releasing and no i wasn't necessarily finding um like new routines necessarily but it's meant coming into this week i feel so much more ready to tackle the week so yeah it feels really really good and i'm just continuing on with these reset vibes going throughout this week so as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, message me, send me a comment below. I love chatting in the comment section. Um, but otherwise, if you would like to flow with me online, come and find me at Soul Shala. The link is always in the description. Uh, follow me on Instagram. My name is Amara Thompson. But other than that, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here. It truly does fill my heart and I am sending you so, so, so much love. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of a shift of energy, I feel you and you have got this. I will see you in the next vlog, guys. Bye.